Also, you should go straight to bed after a dance. There we go. Okay, chat, what do you get me? You got me an unlock. Very nice. That looks amazing. Acquired wooden guardian. That looks special. Thank you very much, chat. I'm going to build one of those straight away. Oh, and it's only a small one, too. Oh, I liked it. I like it a lot. Um, let's have that one over here. Or maybe even... Can I flip it? I can. That'll do. Right, we've got a new day, which means a new confession should be available. Uh, this would take Astronautical up to level uh, 22. I legit have accidentally... Uh, so, basically, just don't feel that anyone poo, even if they ask. Uh, if they ask, do it. Because the results... As long as you've got a bed to put them in, they'll they'll recover. It'll be fine. But it might take a bit. Right, you really need to... A. Have a dance and then go sleep. Go to bed. I don't think we need more poop places, frankly. We'll have to have a look. Right. Now well, that's done. Do we have enough bones? We do! Let's get a resurrection chat. I think we've got two elders as well, so we might have elder fight night after this. Deathcrawler, let's bring you back. Now back, I realised I had a tune playing in the back of my head and it drove me up the wall. So I couldn't remember where I heard it from. I finally figured out it was the music to the chant of the cult of uh, Ramitep from the movie Young Sherlock Holmes. Now I can't get that chant out of my mind. Ah! I can only offer my sympathy because I, I can't remember what that chant was. I don't know if I ever really watched the young Sherlock Holmes. Right, how many more bones? We've easily got enough for Elder Fight Night. Assuming we've got... Yeah, we do have two Elders. So, Purple Anubis. You spent most of your life in the stocks. You are up against... Uh, Diodoron. The newest member of the of the well, actually not the newest, but quite a new member of the cult. And it appears that your time here has been well spent, despite having been locked up for so long. You have learned the way of the fist. And with that, you have earned yourself a place. In the heavens. Fare thee well. Two elders enter. None leave. Yep. So many level ups. Right. Let's accept the devotion. That will pay our way. Let's drop off plenty of cauliflower. But yeah, I am definitely starting to feel that maybe uh, another farm would be useful. <sighs> Grab 
all of that. We got breathe truth there. And there we go. Pumpkin, beetroot, and cauliflower. 50% chance of increasing follower loyalty and plus five faith. All right, we need more meals like that, please and thanks. So it looks like what we're going to be looking to do then is grow pumpkin, cauliflower, and beetroot. More or less exclusively. Hello. Wow, you truly did it. Truly, you are without flaw. Right with you. I wonder if you can set up the farm so that each one will grow individually. I don't know, but that is a good question. And let's add in a bunch of grass mills too. Because we're going to head out and we're going to do another run in the fourth dungeon, I think. Either that or we can try another run in the third. Which one would you prefer, chat? Go for the third dungeon or the fourth dungeon? I mean, not really that they, uh, they are numbered, but uh, Kalamar or Shimura? see what we can do then uh, let's find out the best person for this ride probably you only returns with red hearts though is there one that returns with other kinds of hearts start your next crusade with half a spirit heart automatically collect dropped fervor choose a projectile this is now a level 22 attack We have any doggos? Uh, I believe we do. Oh, where are the doggos? Let me have a look. We have been petting them before, but uh, I don't see one right now. No. Nope. Though I do need to get your devotion. Thank you. Sorry. Um, no, that's darkness, Lily. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. It doesn't look like we've got any around right now. Not that I can see, anyway. I think there was only one doggo that we had. Uh, we need... Castle Scholar. For that six, plus 16... Orcus. I'll keep an eye out, though. Uh, I think I was the only doggo. Yeah, I, I think Purple Anubis may well have been the only doggo. And they've just got uh, Sense of the Great Beyond. Darkness Lily. Now, that will also mean better health drops as well, so... It's going to be useful regardless. Right, you know what? Let's just heal the peeps. I got plenty of plants, so I may as well. Just so I don't have to worry that they're going to be sick while I'm gone. Is our cult still great? Our cult was always great. Will always be great. It was great before time was a thing was great before matter was a thing. Space and time only exist as a direct consequence of how great our cult is. Fact. Oh, 
All right, let's pop down some more gnomes. I'd rather not pop down any grassy crawl, and unfortunately, there is a chance that this is going to make them sick. Which is fine if I'm there to babysit them, a bit less so if I'm not. But it is what it is. Right, we are off once again. First, it's by you. Yeah, the flowers are Camilla's. Yes. It didn't escape me that we're healing people with tea plants. Oh, yes. Now we can just buy the seeds here. That's fantastic. And at this point, we are simply accruing ca cash. Okay. We've got a vampire camera. Not a great start. I'm not familiar with that particular spell. But we'll do our best. See what we can do, shall we? Thank you. Alright, so... Healy Hearts. It would be grand if they had been spirit hearts, honestly. But we can accept them not being so. Nope. Oh, really? Already? That's rude. Oh, actually, you can show what hit me, if I'm honest. Oh, other than me almost dodging into an arrow, that will definitely do it. Nope. Nope, thanks. But no. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, no, no, no. Again, the hilarious part about all of this is that when it became harder, I did better. <laughs> did I just get hit there? No, I didn't somehow. Oh, that one's got a really long range. And... A decent bit of uh, slowdown on it. I approve. If only I could pick up Red Hearts' Spirit Hearts if I was at full health, but sadly no. Even if it was like half the uh, return, I would be fine. That being said, typically I will see uh, only half hearts, not full ones. Can't have quarter hearts as far as I'm aware. Right. Nope. nope. Please no. Whoop. How about no? Right. Any gems around? They are. Not that many, actually, that I've seen. It's a pretty difficult resource to pick up. Give it just a moment. I had a itchy nose. Uh, morning, uh, Helfina. How are you doing? I'm also going to sleep. Makes me think of Reus. <laughs> does a little bit, actually. Hello. Do you want more gold? Are you going to be really angry with me this time? I think it is very angry with me still. I'll give you a little bit. Okay, so it's just a gamble, I guess. I don't care for your money. I am filthy rich as it is. I may well steal the gold in a bit, but not right now. Yep. Hi. 
using that ability to uh, slow them down and go for the kill. Fair enough. So. Okay. Our cult has enough bedding, yes. So much gold. Hey, old buddy. What you got for me? When killing an enemy, 10% chance of healing. I mean, you know, that's not too bad, but I'd actually like the bomb. I'm gonna be honest, that has really appealed to me so far. You've got five further when hit. Don't want that. Increase movement speed. That can both be a blessing and a curse, depending on how well you can see what's going on in the area. Okay, better chance of uh, better chests. Now, the problem we're having in a way is there are now so many tarot cards available that it's very hard for us to guarantee getting the sort of ones that we want gold to meat what the heck no idea um Oh, we need more food. Hello, uh, Ajam, uh, Ajamzing. How you doing, mate? You get food instead of gold. Actually, that would be more useful to me. Not going to lie. Wow. Okay, 270% damage on a hammer is actually pretty nasty. Um... What would I prefer? My vampiric hammer? No, I... Mm, yeah, if that had been the vampiric sword, I might have gone for it because I can maneuver it very well and do a lot of damage with that, but I think we're going to give, give a, a try to this one for now. We'll see. Maybe I'm just not giving enough appreciation to the heavy weapons. Did not like my chances of you- Oh, balls. I was gonna say, did not like my chances with you just being there and not slowed. But, in actual fact, my chances were pretty bad anyway. On the plus side, there is a good chance that we'll get health dropped. Ooh, that will be sufficient to keep me going. It's just a shame to have lost all that damage potential. Might be worth going back for the sword at this point. Um, what do you reckon, chat? Go back for the sword? How goes the culting while I was waiting? Well, we've had a lot of failures to launch, I'm going to be honest, on this third boss. But I have gone ahead and defeated the first room of the fourth dungeon. Uh, we'll go with the day. Is that recharging? Yes, it is. I wonder how... Hmm. Is that... Does that recharge based on the rooms that you've been through, I wonder? Mm -hmm. It's a crit chance sword with the description, take no chances. Hmm. I think we'll be fine with the hammer. Ow! That is vexing. The uh, attack. I didn't see it traveling down through the middle. I was silly. I was just out eyes off the prize, I guess. Now, our heart gatherer is currently away. 
do they come back over time or is it based on room progress? Let's assume that it's based on room progress and not time. Uh, the demon that left goes out and gathers hearts and brings them back. I think it's time-based on it coming back multiple times in a boss fight. Oh, in that case, I could just hang around then. But that would be boring. Now, the advantage to this room is by coming here, we're not going to lose any progress if we die. Your possessions will follow you through death. So we'll bring all of our items back with this now. Double gold, enemies drop poison. That shouldn't be too terrible for me to deal with, hopefully. I say with a great deal of confidence that perhaps I don't deserve. Whoop. There's a heart right there. Very nice of you. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Need to take you guys out as the primary threat, if I'm honest. Oh, okay. And now, since we know we're bringing back all these resources, I may as well take my time and collect them all. That heart can stay on the ground. I can come back and grab it should I need it. Go do some damage over there. You as well. Not good. Many really, thanks. You. How about just take. Oh, really? I am very sad that you managed to get off that shot there. I mean, for obvious reasons, but... The issue is, it's not really going to do any good for me until I take care of you, will it? No, I should have focused. And finally... Okay. Uh, thankfully, I managed to get my health back. But again, not really building up my... Uh, my damage potential here. Honestly, if that was a spawning enemy, I'm not sure if you can build up the damage on spawn spawned enemies, but if it was an easier enemy to deal with, I would have farmed it. chest and nice acquired a crystal rock all right good morning dabblings i went to bed watching this the second our cult grid stream while you were streaming and here you are still streaming honestly how am i su still surprised uh, do i never learn i do wonder that every time someone comments on <laughs> well hello mate i hope you had a good sleep Hammer, higher damage, divine blight, or death sweep. Uh, 
A lot more damage that one. Or is it? No, it's only about 0.6 more damage. Never mind. be a lot harder facing off against this boss, I fancy. Given such a slow weapon. Immune to poison is good, though. But I don't think this boss has poison as an effect, so... I can't remember if any of the ads have it. See what we've got down here. Uh oh. I dislike you guys. You have two jumps and then you're done. Nope. Nope. Come on. There we are. A lot of it is just learning the attack patterns, really. Thank you very much for the uh, hearts there that I don't need, but I will keep that in mind should I need it later. Oh god. Oh, I dislike this place enormously. Why? A chain reaction, though. Dear lord, that was a bit rough. I did not like that. With a weapon this slow, that just felt like death. Oh, wait. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. That was closer than it should have been, honestly. I just stood there and hoped that I had calculated the, the distance right. And it was intuition rather than actual calculation. That could have easily gone wrong. But I did notice there were crystals back here. Oh, there were crystals, I thought. Oh, perhaps not. Uh, we'll go this way. Hello. Hi. Oh, no, really? That is so unsatisfying that that is the way that we lost that uh, bonus. That was a decent bonus, too. Yeah, strong biting of Isaac vibes, yeah. On the plus side, hearts back here to pick up. But yeah, we're really close to the boss, and I held on to that beautiful uh, damage bonus all the way up there. And then lost it. What we got? Poisoned X. Yes, I will take that. Oh, poisoned hammer, rather. Better than the, the vampiric one, because honestly, if I take damage, I'm probably going to die in the boss room. So being able to do more damage to the boss is a better, better move, in my opinion. All right then. I will not learn my place. Not happening. Now then. 
Time to try and stay alive. If I can, but keep you slow. That is what I would like to do. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. No Gatling bullets, please. That is very cheaty. Let me kill your protectors. That is what I would like. Ooh. Okay, that's at least one of them back. Nope. Okay, two of them back. Whoop, whoop. Nope. Uh, if only I'd had that huge amount of damage before, that would have been glorious for dealing with your... Uh, uh, you from range with spells. Something down. Good. Whoop. Got to be very cautious of you there. Nope. Oof. I need more fervor, frankly. That was luck and not in any way judgment. Ooh. Raptastic. Ah. Right, I need to be over there and grab that heart. Thank you. Oop. Thank you to the YouTube. Nope. Oof. I've lost my uh, damage bonus, which does suck a bit. But it's also not the worst. Ah, oh, that is the... Ah. Getting cornered with that attack is almost certain death. I need to learn the attack patterns or what triggers... Because I don't think it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. I think it's probably the attacks are triggered by certain distance to the enemy, so on and so forth. But when that Gatling attack happens, I need to be in a position to immediately start just circling, I think. Is this game worth buying? I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Though I will say I'm not sure how much replayability it's got. Stream random question. What should I get later to eat? Hot dogs or burgers? Uh, burgers. At least you got the resources. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. We got a lot of resources out of that. Okay, we killed 212 enemies in that, and that was an incredibly long run, to be fair. Considering most of the runs are over in like eight minutes, for that one to have lasted almost 20. It's kind of impressive by itself. Right, go to bed, mate. You're all tuckered out. Same with you. After you've had a dance. Right. Thanks to... All the work in here. We're getting a load of uh, faith back straight away. So again, at this point, I feel that it's it's we've. Oh, I don't want to say won the uh, the colony aspect, the the colony part of the game. But I do feel so confident now that we could just largely ignore it just a little bit of maintenance when we we pop back after a, a run and then we're good to go well, let's pop down a couple of meals the fact that at this point we don't even really care for the devotion means that the only followers i actually need to level up are the ones that i intend to take as as demons So much poop in my head.
Yeah, it might well gain replayability with DLCs. Like, there's no way of knowing. I have no knowledge of any planned DLCs or anything they have like that, so... Um, I couldn't comment on that. But definitely the, the game as it stands feels like once I've completed it, I'll probably have... That'll, that'll be good enough. I'll, I'll have completed it. And won't necessarily feel the uh, impetus to play it again. I mean, there are different synergies you could go for, certainly, especially with the doctrines um, specifically, actually, because there's not really any other. Uh, there aren't there aren't really any other paths to develop your your colony. Like everything else is just you know straight down the middle. Uh, you two just need a talk. So confession, I can only do once a day, and it does a huge amount of faith bonus. So I'll, I'll keep that for someone who's got more to go. Like, one confession and a dance will get someone from zero to level up. <laughs> good night, Ghost Reaper. You have a good one. Take care. I need more people working on the uh, refining, I feel. I have not got enough people doing that work. We're seeing a lot of it just sat there. Well, let's grab some more of these. It does feel like the, the simulation of what's going on in the town, though, is almost stalled. Well, it's not stalled while you're in the while you're in the dungeon, but it definitely feels that the vill villagers have a different schedule when you're here versus when you're in the dungeon. The playability, spreading your cult to further lands. I mean, yeah, you you could like our cult. From what the the impression I get from people, is actually quite a favorable cult, cult, uh, cult in regards to the uh, like morality of it. We've gone with a lot less, you know, memeish evil options, and I imagine like some of the replayability will come in that you'll just play through with different uh, different. Uh, Things like cannibalism versus grass eater, um, venerating the dead versus hating getting old. Uh, sorry, venerating the elders versus hating getting old. That sort of stuff. For my part, I have enormously enjoyed just decorating the base, working my way through all of this, building up the the colony aspect and the. The dungeon runs are really solid. Not my favorite version of these kinds of dungeon runs, in my opinion, but the comedy, the, the, this game is very much, the sum is greater than, uh, sorry, the, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, in my opinion. Games that just do the action roguelike do it a little bit better. Not, not a huge amount. Like, I feel that if you're a fan of the action roguelike genre, You'll be a fan of the combat in this and, and the, 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 the roguelike experience, especially the fact that you can even do like continual levels. So once you've completed a dungeon uh, completely, you can go back there and basically have an endless mode for as long as you can manage it. Listen, Lita, I'll cut to the chase. I want to be the loyalty enforcer. Let me prove that I am the right person for the job. Wow. Sure. I like how uh, direct you were. they had expansion oh yeah no absolutely I, i'm loving this game like to, to put it bluntly like in terms of the games that i've played let's let's limit it limit it to new games that i played in 2022 this is probably in my top three if not number one i'm having a huge amount of fun with this game 
So if they brought out more content, I would, I would absolutely play it. I'm very, very satisfied with the game as is. Uh, it's just that in terms of replayability, I, I think maybe you've got... If you really enjoy the game, you've got, probably got like two or three runs at most before you have exhausted what you might want to do with the game. Um, DLC will obviously change that completely, depending on the DLC. Very nice. Let's get... Okay, I need gold bars. Well, it's just a matter of waiting then. Need an endless challenge mode, maybe. But story-wise, it's limited. Uh, it does have an endless mode. Um, once you've completed a dungeon, you can just go back there and complete it again. We, we've already seen that, and I opted not to because I had to get back to, to base to sort out people being unhappy. I am wondering about this one refiner, yeah. Because it's kind of been sat here for ages. See what happens. The game does have its share of bugs as well. That's, a, that's another thing to uh, keep in mind. But quite a lot of the bugginess, at least the bugginess that I've experienced, has been a consequence of uh, the Twitch integration and, and the game being radically more popular than I think the devs had any hope for it to be. There are a few things I need to do, so I'll be heading off now. Best of luck killing the squid. I'll oh, take care, Pirate Joe. Oh, Isham Gamer, thank you very much for the five gift subs there, buddy. That's super kind of you. All right then, chat. I have, whilst uh, cleaning everything up around here, I've been sort of thinking to myself, hmm, should I do one more run before I wrap things up? But I would sooner tackle a new run with a fresh set of eyes. Fresh pair of eyeballs. So we're just gonna get the last quest completed here and then wrap things up there, I think. Hidden Tibble. You may now be the loyalty enforcer. Fresh pair of eyes. Who's you taking this time? Uh, you wouldn't know them. That's the point. I don't either. If you go for the eyes of people you know, that's an easy way to get caught, frankly. There we go. Alright, loyalty enforcer and sermon negated any of the faith drop. Right, the last thing we're going to do before we wrap things up. Let's get a new member in the cult. I should get some rest anyway. Got an apart uh, appointment in a few hours. <laughs> apartment in a few hours? How does that work? There we go, 35. Alright. Melly Badness, congratulations! Let's see what you make. Apartment has the one P. Duly noted. I will forget. But for the moment, I have noted it. Dwarf Giant Space House. Ah, uh, good old boo. Doggo! Alright. <laughs> you can see where this is going. You're gullible and you're zealous. Actually, fitting. 
Oh, uh, you may work on refining materials. Also, pet the dog. Who's a good dog? Yes, you are. <laughs> I love that little chuckle they do. That is glorious. There you go. What a lovely way to end end the stream. Couldn't give you a uh, a dungeon win, like a boss win, but we have made progress. We have unlocked a good number of new buildings. We've completely completed the development of the cult in terms of all of the buildings we can build, though we've got still got some decorations to unlock. Uh, we have one more quest to do in regards to the... Uh, mushrooms, I'm not sure if we're going to do it. We probably will just for completeness sake. And of course, we've also got to uh, complete another three mini bosses for the um, for Shamura's dungeon and kill Kalamar. Easier said than done. Kalamar is going to be a tricky one. Honestly, Kalamar has easily been the, the hardest main boss that we've fought so far. Like, easily the most dangerous one so far. Oh, hush. You need to give me the reward. Also, you're not wearing that hat in the way I was expecting you to. You honor me great leader. I am eternally grateful. Ah. That's lovely, Avocado Witchnets. Just in case they're, they're watching the VODs later on. Thank you, mods. Absent and sleeping though you may be. <laughs> Right, that's going to be it for us. Thank you ever so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you're looking forward to the next. We are going to have two more regular dungeons to do, two bosses to do, and more than likely, a little bit more after that. Because once we've completed the uh, the final of the four bishop bosses, what lies beyond that gate that they're going to unlock? Uh, I've got a sneaking suspicion. I already know what, but we will see. I, I imagine we're all imagining the same thing. But that's going to be it from me. So thank you very much again. It has been a massive pleasure. Those of you who are here live, you have made the night wonderful. Those of you who may be watching this in Fodland or even over in YouTube land on Avac After Hours, I look forward to your feedback. But until next time, take care, everyone. <laughs>